Namaste, everyone. I'm Jenny G. And thank you for tuning into my channel. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that little red button at the corner that says subscribe in order to get new videos. So I'm going to be talking about what's going on with this week's Cosmic Vibes. <laughs> How many of you have that full moon hangover, as I call it? We just had the full moon and I was actually grateful enough to get a great shot of the full moon. I actually didn't sleep the entire night. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, I might as well just get up and, and take that photo. I do a little bit of photography as my little hobby and part of my meditation. And I'm like, you know what? Okay. So I, I just couldn't get back to sleep. And yet I had a full of energy, a lot of energy. So that full moon affects us differently. And we do have those side effects. We do have those hangovers, as I call it. There's a lot of energies going on right now, you guys, right? So how many seriously of you are still feeling it, right? So anyways, April 8th to the 15th, we're going to talk about the energies. And I say we because I chat with spirit 24-7. It's just the way it is. I can wake up in the middle of the night. And I get messages nonstop and I'm like, okay, already. Thank you. I'm very grateful for the messages. However, Jenny needs to get some sleep. <laughs> so talk to spirit. You guys, you all can talk to spirit. I just say spirit because I hear a lot of different messages all the time. I'm a psychic clairvoyant medium, past life Akashic record, animal communicator, relationship coach, pranic healer, meditation teacher, you name it. The list goes on and on and on. So anyways, what's the vibes for this week? What is going on? You're going to find that we are going to be decluttering our emotions, decluttering our mind from what we've been really, really hanging on to. Like what heaviness of energies have we been struggling with? Really pay attention to what's triggering you right now. And I mean, it It literally could be anything. It could be a person. It could be a memory. Somebody could have said something. It can be anything. So take that time out. We have Easter long weekend. And for me, it I go into deep trances because I channel and work with the Christ consciousness. So April long weekend for me, Easter time. It's usually a really good time for me because I have a lot of time in silence. I really do. And during that time, I get messages coming in just out of the blue. And I can find I'm writing and writing. I've been doing a lot of writing on different things I'm working on. And just to give you an example. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to spend maybe an hour, let's say, um, writing this, whatever it is. And, you know, hours go by and I'm like, God, I'm so tired. Like, why am I so tired? And I look at the clock and I'm like, oh my God, like six hours later. And I'm like, how did that just happen? So whenever you're in that zone, whenever you're feeling that you're vibing with the energy this week, especially this Easter long weekend, really go with it because you're building foundations for your soul. Your soul wants you to achieve success. And it's really important to be really happy for other people's success. There's a, a lot of different achievements that people have been accomplishing. You know, some of you might just be starting some new projects now or, or a new routine with something. And don't look at, you know, that person is farther than I am. There's no such thing because we have our own cycles we go through. We have to be ready that divine timing when things start to happen and, and work with us. So it's important to declutter, declutter, declutter our mindset. So if you're having that um, negative thoughts of, you know, my self-esteem, my self-worth, um, you know, I'm never going to make it, really pause and take a look at, okay, what's making that happen? Because a lot of issues, traumas from childhood, are going to be coming to the surface as well, even throughout more this month. So we have that Chiron energy too. So we're still in that healing mode, healing my vibe, because we are in the pre-eclipse season right now. And as we get closer to the new moon, 20th, 21st, oh my goodness sakes, 
that eclipse is powerful, powerful, like life changing. And even now up until then, really you could see some little things going back to April, 2005, similar situations. So you're going to be like, okay, that's interesting. How can I utilize that energy now to the fullest? What have I truly learned from that energy way back then? How am I handling this energy now? So it can be life changing. I mean, I'll do a separate video, of course, on that and tell you how to utilize that energy and really work for it. March, April, and May are huge months for manifestations, building your foundations, you know, and, and setting some goals and such like that. And really take a look at where you are right now today, because there's people that, you know, I really haven't seen much. It takes time working on your goals is a process to build that solid foundation. It really is. So don't be hard on yourself like that old slow and steady wins the race. So April 8th and 9th, you might kind of be feeling a little bit more sensitive in your genitals, anus, prostate areas, especially for, for the men out there, masculine energies. There's different days this week, of course, that your body, different parts of your body will feel a little bit more sensitive. So April 10th and 11th, we are dealing with our thighs. It could be our hips. It could be our liver. You know, it could be a little bit more sensitive or all of a sudden you're like, wow, my hips are feeling a little off or I'm getting a little achy or I'm feeling bloated and such like that. That's why, that's why it depends where the planets are faced and such like that and what's going on. And you're also going to find that April 12th and 13th, it's more connected with your joints, with your knees, with your backbone. You know, things like that. And even with your hair, you might be like, oh, God, my hair. I'm just having a really, really bad hair day. Or you could be like, wow, I'm really liking my hair. Maybe some of you are getting your hair done on the 12th or the 11th. They're like, you know what? I'm going to cut it all off. So go on your own rhythm and such like that. As we move into the 14th and 15th, we're going to be dealing with our lower calves, ankles, and shins areas. So if you're at the gym, let's say, make sure you're doing extra stretches, extra stretches before your workout and especially after, because we need to warm up our body and we need to cool it down. It's like, even before you get out of bed, even start kind of tapping your, your arms, waking up your arms, getting your blood flow going, tapping your calves and your knees you know, and your legs gently, gently, you know, feet up in the air, right? It gets, it gets, you know, it gets things going. We have to get our blood force going, especially as we get older as well. So keep that in mind, you guys. So it's a really big week for you to really process and, and you know, implement more of your vision board as well. You might even find that this long weekend, of course, too. Some of you are having like a family Easter dinner. Some of you are getting together with friends and such like that. So, you know, go with what feels right for you. Some people might be like, you know, I'm just... I'm just going to take time out for me. I'm just going to like do this. I just, I just want to do that or that go on your own rhythm and flow because we have that pre mercury retrograde shower, as I call it shadow shower, shower of redos, <laughs> right? Some of you are going to be hearing from people from your past as well during this transit period. And as we have these pre shadow times, it can actually be a little bit harder to go through than the actual retrograde season itself, like the pre-shadow of eclipse we're in, pre-shadow Mercury retrograde we're in. Oh my gosh. So just take that time to pause. You're going to be decluttering your environment. You know, uh, some places it's spring. Hopefully here, the weather is going to start to get a little better in Canada. Oh, my goodness sakes. So as you can see, things are changing. And also to where you're living the city and country in certain places like that, energy is energy. And Mother Nature is trying to make its point known to you. So if the energy of the city, like here in Calgary, they're calling Calgary, you know, another Toronto, because the cost of living here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada is going right through the roof. And, and it's just pure and utterly not acceptable at all. The government doesn't care. Of course, they're only looking at 
feeding their selves, making sure what's in their pocketbooks, not yours. If they truly cared about you, things wouldn't be like it is the way today. Ponder on that. Really think about that. So as we work on ourselves, it's really important to take time. I can't stress that enough. Take time for you. Um, Mercury with Taurus, it started April 3rd to June 11th. Really make sure that you pay attention to what you're saying. You know, sometimes we start going in that emotion. And we're like, you know what, that's it. I'm going to block that person. I'm going to delete that person. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Those rash decisions. We all have those moments, of course. So pause before you want to make a major decision with anything. Really take that pause back and say, okay, is that realistic for me right now? Do I really want to end that relationship friendship do i really want to walk away from my business or from my job or end this or end that or to buy that huge purchase or like whatever it is this is why this week's about decluttering your emotions in your mind whenever we over process overthink our energy starts to deplete and you can attract in lower energy forces, you know, darker entities and stuff like that. Because when you're feeling vulnerable, they like that. So all of a sudden, you're going to feel that you could have bouts of anxiety or stress or anger. And that's when you're like, okay, where did that come from? We're getting triggered. We're, we're getting triggered a lot. So that's why it's important to pause. Remember that. Pause first before making that rash decision, right? I had a little fun this week when I was out and about causing a little, well, I should say my dog Bella was causing a little stir at the dealership, at the car dealership was out just looking. So I know I'm going to need a new vehicle. It's just a matter of time. And I'm like, oh my God, these prices, are you seriously kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me? When? What, what, like, oh my God, really? If you guys want to buy me that brand new vehicle and pay $50,000, great. Hey, I'm open to receive. That's ludicrous. That's crazy, right? So I'm like, really? So meantime, Bella's flirting herself away. And she had everybody in the dealership, even the big boss came out, staff came around, all these sales guys, right? She, you know, Bella was like, blinking her eyelashes fluttering her eyelashes flirting flirting and i'm like yes bella you're flirting with the staff <laughs> that's my little girl bella my little dog bella for those of you who know so it was a lot of fun actually it was a lot of fun so it's those moments that you have to cherish the littlest moments because we're letting go we're healing and such like that so be really really gentle with yourself and pay attention to what you're really drawn to, because this week, the energy is going to help you see what energy you need to pay attention. We have Venus with the moon, which is going to bring your intuition out stronger. So sometimes somebody's like, you know what? That person who I wanted to be with or, you know, that location I wanted to go to or that job I wanted to, my intuition is telling me, no, that's 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 just not right. But I don't know. I don't know. Pause, pause, pause. Surrender, surrender, surrender. Take that time out. Because the more time you spend in silence, the more messages you're going to get anyways from your soul. And that's exactly what you want. That's exactly where you want to go. So we have Venus and Pluto, which is going to be more about loving yourself, setting strong boundaries, taking time out for you, loving yourself unconditionally. And you might be more compassionate towards others as such. The, you know, the world has been awakening for quite some time. There's a lot of people that are really upset. Um, the U.S. has still has that band on people who are unvaccinated for traveling into that country, which is absolutely nothing but power and control. So, you know, it's going to cause a lot of stir ups, even more so for unvaccinated. Even there's people who are vaxxed and, you know, people want to travel into the U.S. to see their families and they can't because that's the ignorance of the government there. Simple. The government wants to control you. 
it's just crazy. So there's a lot of shakeups going and a lot more truth is being exposed. Nobody can run from karma. I've been talking about that from quite some time now. So this Easter weekend, just really, really be open to hear what messages that you're going to be hearing. Like how many of you are, are celebrating Easter or celebrate Easter? What do you guys normally do? I mean, I haven't had um, an Easter dinner um, or spent Easter with anybody for years. I don't even actually remember the long, the last time I have. So normally I would be working at hospice, but I'm not at the hospice anymore, of course. And, um, I normally just, I do a lot of writing. Like I'm saying, I go into like that deep trends. So this weekend for me, I'm actually really excited about it to see what messages I'm going to get coming through. And I just, I really, I'm really seeing what I'm going to be doing, actually. So whenever you guys start getting bits and pieces of flashes and such like that about visions and stuff, just keep track of it. Write it down and really pay attention to your dreams. You've noticed that your dreams have been a little off, right? And you're like, oh, my God, what was that about? That's going to continue on. That's going to continue on. So be gentle. We always have different energies, you know, cosmic, cosmic ascension, cosmic solar flares, all of that. Be gentle on yourself. Declutter your mind. So when I get up in the morning, regardless of what is going on, I'm like, you know what? It's going to be a great day. It's going to be a magnificent, awesome day. It's going to be amazing regardless of what I'm doing, doesn't matter. And when you change your mindset from negative and declutter that negativity, you open up abundance and prosperity. Your day is more aligned within your soul and it actually goes pretty good, right? So anyways, let's pull a couple of cards from the collective from spirit to see what messages are gonna come through. So when I do a reading for someone, I'm a psychic clairvoyant medium. I don't use cards at all, um, but because we're doing this, we're going to get messages from the spirit world as well, collectively what messages they have to say. So whenever you're using cards, make sure you bang them, knock, knock, knock them three times on wood. That clears your energy and the energy from the last person. So listen, hear that? right i mean I, I cleared all these decks before i started this but i just wanted to let you know it does clear the energy so let us ask um the spirit world what is the collective message for this week april 8th to the 15th what's the collective message for april 8th to the 15th wow right away the law of attraction card fell down so <clears throat> remember that you attract who you are so when you attract certain things to you and you're like, oh my God, how did that happen? Or why is this happening? Really take a look at your mindset, right? Declutter that mind, declutter your emotions from negative to positive. You know, don't try to push anything or force anything. Things really come together at the right timing. Spirit has your back. Even though you're like, I don't see any results. Spirit hates me, right? We all have that. Be gentle and kind on yourself. So I'm going to read the card to you. Each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends. So invest wisely, meaning within your mindset. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace, and harmony. At your request, we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies. That's why it's important to do your daily mantras and daily positive affirmations how many of you do that let me know and make sure you guys like my video you know make some comments below it really helps build my channel as well and i like to know where you guys are at so look at that angel there look at how beautiful that is it's the essence of the angels and you're also going to find too by the way that your angels are going to be closer to you more than ever so some of you might be feeling like a presence of some sort beside you you know even easter long weekend it can be triggers for some of us who have lost family members or friends or pets during Easter and holiday times, you know, your loved ones and such like that. And please know they're very, very much with you. They're very much with you. And there's a lot of miracles coming, you know, as, as like the, I channel and work with the Christ consciousness. He has rise in all of that Christ energy. That's why it's a very powerful week. 
and long weekends because this energy really takes you on to your week. Really takes you on to your week. Okay. So as we're leading up to Mercury retrograde, right? I'm just saying April 20th to the 21st, things can get a little more wonky. So balance that wonkiness. Wonk, wonk, wonk. Right? Okay. So let's ask another card from Spirit. Alrighty then. So let us ask Spirit, what is the cosmic message for April 8th to the 15th? What's the cosmic message from Spirit? Wow. Oh, look at how beautiful this card is. Dawn, new beginnings. We can have a new beginning at any given second when you're ready. You know, if you're struggling, surrender, surrender. Like I surrender everything. I mean, I work towards whatever projects I'm doing, my goals. And I surrender it all. I surrender it all. Okay, spirit, I'm working towards this. And I'm surrendering it to you at the right timing when everything is coming together. And some of you have also started to see or have seen synchronicities where some of you are like, Jenny, I haven't seen any synchronicities. Like what's going on with Adam? And I'm like, just, you know, stop being so hard on yourself for goodness sakes, goodness sakes, slow down, declutter the mind, declutter the mindset. Take it easy. New beginnings. New beginnings are at any given moment or time. Utilize this energy of the Christ consciousness of this Easter blessings, and it will work in your favor whenever you're surrendering and trusting and believing that things are where they should be right now with you. And what is not working for you, change it. You can't sit back and tell the universe, make the change. You have to be open and ready to make changes. Start writing down what you'd like to change. Don't worry about how it's going to happen. It's like, spirit, I'm open. I am open for change, positive changes. You know, April is a high vibrational frequency month. Some of you might be have seen 444, 44, all of those different sequent numbers. And that's because April Number four is a very high energy month. So it all comes down to manifestation. Start writing down your, your visions on your vision boards and your dreams and such like that. Really revision it. Take a look at your vision board. You know, take a look and see where do you still want that? Do you still want that? Be very specific in order to start the manifestation from happening. So I'm going to pull another card as well from Spirit. Spirit, what's your cosmic message for April 8th to the 15th? What's the cosmic message from Spirit for April 8th till the 17th? A couple of cards fell out. I wasn't feeling it. <laughs> what is the cosmic message for April 8th to the 15th? Cosmic message from April 8th to the 15th. April 8th to the 15th. What's your cosmic message from you? Wow. Okay. So this is energy, this energy with Chiron, like I'm saying, we're going to be having reflections back uh, to our childhood, different memories that are going to trigger us it could be out of the blue that you still need to heal, that you still need to let go of, reflect back to it and you know, take a look at where you are today, not when you were way back then. Where are you today? How have you worked through that energy? Do you want to work through that energy? And it comes down to our mental health, decluttering our mindset from negative to positive, right? Because if we keep on going in that negative mindset of fear of, of you know, like lo losing hope and faith, we can create issues, of course, which will affect your health. Whenever you're stressed, stress can cause your chakras to go off alignment. You might be feeling that, gosh, why am I all of a sudden feeling like my stomach is really um, having issues? It very well could be stress. You know, if you're eating when you're stressful, it's not going to digest properly. Get out and move your body, release that stress, let it go and work on your health. Because when you're working on your health, making little changes here and there, 
you're going to start to feel better. Get outside, go for nature walks, go for the workout, yoga, yoga. I'm going to be gradually getting back into yoga um, as because I've had some injuries um, for a while now. I don't talk about um, so I'm not able to do certain things. So I'm currently working on healing that as well. So it's really important to focus on you and and yourself right now and and what works for you, you guys. Okay. So I'm gonna talk to the crystal world, our mighty crystal world. Of course, of course, of course. You know I love my crystals. So what is the energy and the message from our land of the crystal worlds, Lemurian energy, Atlantis energy with our crystal energies and spirit, crystal kingdom. Let us talk the crystal kingdom from April 8th to the 14th or 15th, April 8th to the 15th. The messages from spirit of the crystal worlds. Gosh, okay. I actually had a couple of cards fly out, but I was feeling these. I was really feeling these. So, <clears throat> Oh, wow. How interesting is that? Now, oh, love them both. So we'll, we'll go one at a time. So we have the pink sapphire, pink sapphire, pink, of course. How many of you love pink? I mean, I love pink. And it's all about balancing the yin and the yang. We literally have pink and blue. The male and the feminine, balancing the masculine side and the feminine side. Um, pink sapphire and and how interesting is this see it being the number four four and i just talked about april like april 4th was a big power like a portal day by the way so some of you have been seeing four 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 really pay attention to those numbers this month completely so make sure that your heart is opened opening and even rose quartz rose quartz um I do have somewhere, some of it. Oh, I do. My crystals are all over. So here's actually a piece of pink quartz. And even when you're working on like self-love, um, you know, wear some, you know, pink quartz or, you know, hold on to some pink quartz crystals. And um, I mean, I love jewelry because I love it to touch my skin to keep me grounded and such like that. So whatever you're drawn to, but isn't that interesting? Four, four, like how magical is that? <laughs> I love it when spirit chats, right? So we also have lapis um, lazulu. And I'm actually wearing, um, let me see here. I'll just show you guys. I wear a lot of different crosses, especially this weekend, being the Christ consciousness. Here's one of my lapis um, la lazulu pieces that I'm currently wearing. And also here is uh, another piece of lapis. This is actually right from Afghanistan. Um, my ex actually, um, did a lot of protection work around the world for, um, uh, the governments and such like that, like, um, similar to secret service, long story short. And, um, he actually sent me, um, this piece by the way, um, from Afghanistan and it's so beautiful. So this is Lapis Lazulu and I, and I love it actually. I love the energy of it. It's very powerful. It enhances your intuition. And that's actually the second card that, that fell out. Um, take a look at that and, and look how in this crystal, right? We have that face. Can you guys see that face? And even with the number three, number three is about ascended masters, channeling and hearing messages from the ascended masters. That's a very powerful time. Like, that's why I keep on talking about this Easter long weekend, ascended masters, channeling within, getting messages from the spirit work world within, listening and tuning within, decluttering, decluttering your mind from certain situations, triggers, go within, don't run from them. So I'm just going to pull one last card I'm hearing. Um, I I'm, I kept on hearing this from spirit. So spirit has a message. <laughs> I'm going to talk about it. So what is the message? And especially with this Taurus stell stellium, it's going to help you realign everything and give you a little bit more energy to focus more on you, your foundation and your goals, whatever dreams you want to achieve. So we have different energies that work with us. If you're working with it, that's another reason why I'm doing these 
cosmic videos. So what is the cosmic energy message for April 8th to the 15th? What's the message from the spirit world? April 8th to the 18th. April 8th to the 18th. Message. Spirit. Take a chance on love. And the first thing I heard, is take a chance on you. Take a chance on loving yourself. Love is can come in so many different modalities. I mean, I love my dog, Bella, with all my heart and soul. That's my soulmate. That's my little furry soulmate. We have such a bond, such a bond. We go back many other lifetimes together, and I cherish her with all my heart and soul. So you very well could be opening up more compassion in your heart. We have Easter long weekend, as I'm saying, with your family, with your friends, with your partner. And when we love, our lives are changed forever. Absolutely. Look at that. And water represents our emotions. So whenever you're around water, take a look and see how you're feeling. If you're feeling like, oh my gosh, the water looks scary, then it shows you where your emotions are. And then you got to start decluttering a little bit more emotions as well. And it shows that how there's two people in the boat looking off into the sunset, looking off into the portal, new beginnings. New beginnings, they're, they're gravitating and they're moving towards that portal. They're gravitating towards new beginnings. And we can start new beginnings at any time. However, in order to attract the right person into your life, you have to start loving yourself first unconditionally before you can have someone else love you unconditionally back. Because if you don't, you're just going to settle with just anyone. I mean, and that's okay. There's there's no such thing as judgment. And, you know, some of us prefer just being in relationships. Some of us are okay not being in relationships. So go on your own rhythm and flow. And subscribe to my channel, you guys. If you want to book a book of reading with me, soulworkwithjenny.com. And subscribe subscribe like my video let me know what's going on with you guys let me know how you're handling these energies and what changes you're making and what you're doing on the easter long weekend okay so namaste everyone sending many blessings your Namaste, everyone. I'm Jenny G. I'm an international no one clairvoyant psychic medium, past life Akashic record, animal communicator, relationship coach, meditation teacher, and so on. I am here to tell you there is some exciting news. I'm revamping my YouTube channel. That's right. There's new content coming out weekly. I'm going to talk about the weekly cosmic vibes, what you're experiencing, and why, how to utilize that, and giving you the reasons behind it. We're going to talk about the new moon, the full moon, Mercury retrograde, and I'm going to give you those insights how to manifest and make things happen for you at the right time time. It's time, everyone. It's time to wake up this planet. Let's show some love and compassion. Let the fear go. Let the negativity go. Let's do this together and transcend your soul in quantum leaps. I'll be here. Where are you? Hit that red button at the corner there, subscribe to my channel, and let's make this happen. Let's do this now. Namaste.